used to be a. I accept my duties to be a. Judge. That's so that truth, so the truth, truth justice, justice, excellent barbecue, excellent barbecue, barbecue, and American way of life, and the American way of life, life may be strengthened and preserved forever. May be strengthened and preserved forever. Live on. <laughs>
That's not bad, but they just can't kind of overcame the chicken flavor, so you can really get that coming through. Uh, but good job on all five. I'm just normally put the front end of the front, so yeah. like these need to be the back. Uh, that's why I said. Okay. And then you didn't do it. No, I said, I said forward. Not in All right, my favorite was rib number three. It was closely followed by rib number four. The rib I was least impressed with was rib number five. There was nothing wrong with it. It just was a little blander than the others. Okay, um, my favorite was uh, number three as well, uh, and tied uh, was number four. They both were very, very good. My least favorite was number one because it had a slightly uh, chemical type taste to it that I couldn't uh, recognize, but uh, all in all, it was a, a good rib category. My favorite was number two. It had a uh, nice flavor. It was nice and tender. Uh, came off the bone really clean. Uh, right behind that was number four. That one had a good flavor also. Uh, my least favorite was number six. It was really tough. Really tough, and it uh, seemed a, a, a bit bland, and, and the flavor was low off. Uh, my favorite was number three. Uh, terrific flavor, uh, done just right to the Madison. I also liked number four, although it was a lot, of, a lot of messy stuff on it. My least favorite was number six. I didn't think it was finished. It was not tender, and the flavor wasn't that great. I thought the best rib of the day was definitely number four. Um, great flavor, good smoke flavor, nice sauce. And uh, my least favorite, I have to agree, is uh, number six. I think number four was excellent. I could eat that rib all day long. Um, number one, kind of bland, a little dry, and uh, kind of had a, an unpleasant taste to it. First one on your top left had a really nice apple sweet flavor to it, and uh, I enjoyed that they put some tubes in the box for us. Uh, the second one had really nice bark on it. The pulled pork piece was actually a little better than the medallion, um, but also a nice sweet glaze on it that I enjoyed, and the tenderness was good. Um, the third one, the pulled pork was a little dry, but the medallion was pretty good, and the taste was wasn't necessarily bad, just <laughs> nothing uh, really exciting about it. Uh, the fourth one, the medallion was good, um, mild flavor. The fifth one, they gave us some pulled pork and also a medallion, and the both pieces were a little dry. 
and the last one was uh, we had a pulled pork and a medallion as well, and it had a nice uh, sweet flavor, but nothing too exciting on that one either. So a couple of my highlights were that number two, the medallion was probably not so great, but the outside pull that they put on number two was absolutely phenomenal. That team might even consider just sticking to the outside pulled. Um, three and five were probably some of my top favorites. Just really good porky flavor and uh, nice and juicy, great texture. I love uh, pulled pork, so I was looking forward to the pulled pork that was there. Uh, number three had the look, looked like the best pulled pork, but it was dry, unfortunately. The medallion was, was actually pretty tender. The taste was pretty good, though. Four, I enjoyed the medallion. Flavor was good, and it was uh, was moist. Um, the number six was, was interesting because it was probably the moistest of them all done perfectly right. The flavor was not as good as some of the other ones, so. Uh, number one was my favorite. It was simple, there wasn't too much going on. You could really taste the smoke from the meat, which I really appreciated. Uh, number two had good bark on it, but was a little tough for me. Um, number four actually was sweet, almost like a candied rib, but uh, a little mushy for me. And uh, my least favorite was number six. Uh, it was very, very salty, had a lot going on with it. My favorite uh, was number one. I like the simpleness, the, the, you could taste the pork. Number two seemed a little overcooked to me. I like the sweetness on number four, but it was just too sweet. And number six was way too salty. It was just nothing but salt. It just kind of flooded your palate. Uh, looking over these, uh, my favorite was probably number four. Um, one a little behind it. I think where um, a couple of these guys missed the boat was uh, adding multiple um, cuts, a, a medallion, a tube, a chop uh, in there because uh, like number one had a tube, had some tubes and had uh, a medallion, money muscles. Uh, the, the medallion was cooked really good, flavor was decent, but the tube was actually a little dry. So uh, I saw that on number one and number three. Um, number four was very simple and so we went from there. Number five, uh, I mean number six had a different flavor profile. I couldn't really explain that but uh, it may be a, a, some kind of citrus wing in it, but it was a diff, It really was a different flavor profile. That that it, it was not well received at, at my at, at my end of the table by me. So uh, it was just it didn't fit with. He tried to go sweet, but it also had a uh, kind of a, a, a old school smoky flavor, and that profile didn't work well with that. So.
so judging brisket, uh, the first one, at least my particular slice, was uh, extremely tough. Couldn't really even pull it apart. Uh, tried to bite through it, couldn't bite through it either. Uh, pretty flavorless as well. The second one was about average, really no, didn't have any real wow factor to it and really wasn't horribly bad either. The third one was extremely salty, but it was cooked pretty decently. It actually had a nice little bit of give to it once you pulled it apart. It wasn't overly tough or anything. The fourth one, again, unfortunately, was very salty. A uh, little bit on the tough side as well. Number five was uh, dry, tough, pretty flavorless. It was pretty bad, unfortunately. The uh, last one, again, was dry, a little on the tough side, and extremely salty. Yeah, I think number one was very tough. It was difficult to pull apart. And uh, and once I did bite into it, it was, <clears throat> it, it, was, it was a little bit salty and tough. Number two, uh, you could taste the uh, basting they use which was a bullion of some sort, I think, and um, but it wasn't bad. Number three was uh, was a little bit more tender. It had uh, again, you couldn't taste the beef because of the sauce. Number four, I thought was uh, was kind of average. It, it was it was okay to pull apart. Uh, tenderness was not great. A little salty. Number five was uh, was very tough. And number six, uh, number six uh, was just kind of dry. Uh, entry number one, very tough, could not pull it apart. Um, number two, entry number two, had a little tug, had a great uh, appearance, uh, but en enough tug for me to give it an eight. Um, number three was very salty. Um, it originally had some good flavor, but then the salt hit, and, and I uh, gave that a, a, an eight in taste. Number nine was probably the better of all six. Uh, had a good pull, good flavor, and was very tender. Number five was uh, quite dry. Um, the appearance was uh, uh, lacking, in my opinion. The uh, it had a lot of fat on the, uh, the brisket and uh, was arranged in the box inconsistently. Number six was uh, a tough cut, uh, very hard to pull, and extremely dry. Number one, I've got a new slingshot I can use, need re-rubbering. Uh, number two has, it was just mediocre, uh, didn't have a good pull, it just, uh, just didn't like it at all. Number three uh, was mushy, but it had a, had a fairly decent flavor to it. Uh, number four was definitely, uh, I had a good pull, uh, it had a real strong flavor, uh, I kind of liked the flavor but not really, it just had a strong flavor to it but the pull was, the pull itself was great. Uh, number five, the burn end itself when you bit into it, it was real pethy tasting, you know, real mealy or whatever. But the, the brisket that had all the, the other part of it that had all the fat on it and everything just wasn't, had no flavor at all or anything. Um, number six is just flat out overcooked uh, and cut too thick and it's, uh, the burn-in was the same way. Uh, <clears throat> the brisket category, number one, as has been stated, was very, very tough. Uh, number two uh, was a little tough and didn't really have a lot of flavor to it. Uh, the number three brisket, uh, the burn in was good. Uh, the flat, uh, it had good pull, but it was a little salty. Uh, I'm gonna say number four was probably the better of the samples that we had today. Um, it had decent pull and it had decent flavor. Uh, number five, the burn in was, was good. Uh, the flat was a little dry. Number six, um, the burn-in needed to be, it was tough, and the, uh, the flat was a little dry and just didn't have a lot of flavor.